Hey everybody, I'm Ed Mitrovich, the Ultimate Historian. Well, uh, I've gotten over my cold, so I decided to start making videos again. Uh, and I wanted to uh, start with uh, a rebranding of a, an existing show. I am changing uh, unboxing alternatives to uncovering alternatives. That's because uh, I really want to change the show's focus into actual cover design because alternate history is a great genre uh, with some great covers and this one might be a good show to actually focus on them. So the plan is that I'll still do the whole initial reaction just to see my initial thoughts when I first see a book cover but then I'm going to uh, switch over to more uh, uh, detailed analysis where I'll actually do some research and come back to you about once I learn a little bit more about the cover. And hopefully through this we uh, learn a little bit more about our genre and why it's so popular and maybe uh, aspiring uh, authors out there may find yourself uh, with a, a cover artist for your next book. Um, so with that being said, let's go straight to the initial reaction. Okay, we're back. Uh, here is uh, my new book and um, yeah, it's already opened. Uh, I got this over Christmas and I got a little um, antsy because I really wanted to open it and I wasn't feeling good and didn't want to go on camera so I ended up just opening it and for that matter reading it. <laughs> it's uh, Tales from the Otherverse. Uh, it has stories from James Reasoner, Lou Antonelli, Bill Kreider, Scott A. Cup, Keith West, Richard Prosh, and I'm sorry if I uh, mispronounce anybody's name, Robert E. Verdeman, Scott Dennis Parker, John Hagenberger and Cheryl Pearson. Uh, I'm going to be writing a review of this uh, rather soon. I don't know if it's going to be on my blog or Amazing Stories, but um, you know, if you follow me, you'll find out. <laughs> uh, I will show you. Uh, I will. I mean, sorry. I will show you the, uh, the book cover, and I'll talk about some of the misreactions I did have. Um, to be honest, it's not bad. It's uh, it's not just a stock image that dominates the entire uh, front of the book. Uh, the actual image they use kind of puts me in the move of a very kind of a steampunk or retro history esque vibe. Uh, you know, with the you got the the pocket watch, the leather bound book, the magnifying glass, and the quill. Uh, I'm not so sure how much I like the the text. It looks like uh, it looks a little too. Uh, Easy to write, easy. I'm mean, easy to write, easy to type. Like this is something a, a font that's not too difficult to get a hand on. Um, still, that being said, uh, you know you can see that the name of the imprint right there, the publisher, the small press, whatever you want to call them, Rough Edges Press. It looks like some more work was put into this than I've seen uh, in the past of the show. Uh, even the back of it isn't too bad. I mean, it's, it's got a background that that map you saw from the front. You're pulling that out. And it's got the quill, and it looks like a compass here. It looks like someone put effort into it. While it's not, uh, it's not great. It's not bad either. It's definitely a pretty good attempt. It definitely doesn't upset me all that much as you've seen me in other episodes with certain books. Uh, it's not bad. It's it's definitely not bad. So uh, that's my that is what I remember of my initial reaction to the book. Now it's time for some actual uh, analysis. Okay, and I am back. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind. I did write up some notes, and I might be looking down at them just because I don't remember all. Again, I'm still kind of keeping the whole, like, a very um, Im improv, improvised, the improvisation. This isn't scripted. <laughs> so, uh, my apologies if I seem to be making flubs just like I did right now. Uh, the book cover artist is Livia Reasoner. Uh, she is the wife, apparently, of James Reasoner, who's not only one of the authors, but he's also, I'm um, assuming, the editor as well. And also, they both own Rough Edges Press, from what I've learned. Uh, she is a, a, a novelist herself. She writes a lot of mystery, romance, and historical novels. I didn't notice any uh, much in the way of alternate history, but I did find a lot of uh, references to her actually being a book cover artist. It seems like she does a lot of her own uh, book covers, her husbands, and possibly even people who uh, print under the Rough Edges Press uh, masthead. Is that a word I can use for that situation? Let's say that. Um, so this is someone who looks like does uh, a lot of uh, book cover design. Uh, and like I said, it's not a bad book cover. It's not at all. It's I've seen better. I'm not going to lie, I've seen better, but I've also seen a lot worse, especially from a lot of indie publishers and authors. So the fact that this actually looks, I would look at this picture and think, oh, this might actually be something I'm interested in. This would catch my eye when I'm thinking of what book to put on new releases on my blog. Uh, so this definitely looks to me like an alternate history uh, book. That being said, did she actually 
design this image or does he buy it? I couldn't find that out particularly. Just gonna double check because if I if it says right there and I didn't notice it, I'd be really upset. But it even if she didn't do it herself, the fact that she probably it looks like she put effort into this and I wouldn't be surprised if she, you know if she found if she designed it herself. And if that's the case, uh, Good job, Livia. Uh, you definitely get um, uh, a B. I'll give you a B. It's it's not great, but I've seen a lot worse, uh, and, and it was refreshing from other book covers I've had to review. So definitely, definitely a B. You caught me in a good mood. Uh, so that is the end of uncovering alternatives. I will be back as soon as I get more books. Uh, as for the channel itself, uh, we're going to have more reviews of the Man in the High Castle. I'm not sure how many of them they're going to be because Elaine and I are talking about just binge watching the rest and having a final thoughts because I really want to move on to other uh, videos that I've been planning to do and just haven't had the time. And next one is going to be another trope talk, uh, which I'm really looking forward to because I got some really cool artwork sent to me uh, by a friend and I can't wait to show it to you guys. Uh, I'm really excited. <laughs> so with that uh, teaser, uh, I'm, I'm at Mitch Rich, the alternate historian. Bye.